Well, good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning virtual service. My name is Reverend James Parker and thank you for being with us here on this Sunday morning. We've got a lot to cover. I'm going to jump right into it. I have a great lesson for you today and I hope you enjoy. And if you do, press the subscribe button there or push, a, push the like button. We love hearing from you. Anyway, let's get into it. My lesson title today is Give Peace a Chance. And no, the Beatles didn't tell me to bring forth this lesson. I thought of doing it myself. Give Peace a Chance is really about bringing forth a peace of mind. And bringing forth a peace of mind is about living with heaven on earth. There's an old proverb that says, peace is greater than power. Peace is greater than power. A peaceful mind is, 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 is connected to the common association of bliss, happiness, and contentment. A peaceful mind or inner peace, it, it refers to spiritual calm. And being at peace is considered by many to be healthy and the opposite of being stressed or anxious. It is where the mind performs at an optimal level with a positive outcome. You know, what's clear to me is that we have to stop talking about peace and start living in peace. Will you do that with me? Eleanor Roosevelt, she said, it isn't enough to talk about peace. One must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it. One must work at it. There was a therapist who was working with a man who was feeling bad about his work. Since he was always feeling bad about something and carrying negative thoughts, she told him a riddle. She said, there's a goose in a bottle. It's a big, fat, healthy goose at the bottom of a large bottle with a round bottom and a thin neck. How do you get the goose out of the bottle without breaking, cracking, squeezing, melting, vaporizing, or changing the bottle in any way. When the man gave up, she said, I'll give you four hints. Who put the goose in the bottle? And when? And why? And with what? The man said he didn't know. She said, sure you do. Who put the goose in the bottle? You did. When? About two minutes ago. Why? Because I told you to. And with what? With my mind, he said. It's my mind. The problem isn't in my life. It's in my mind. Friends, honestly, in all realization, in all reality, we're never going to stop every negative thought from wandering into the mind. However, we can keep them from remaining in the mind. And we do this by creating a peaceful mind. Through, our, through focusing on the positive and turning away from the negative by centering our attention on the breath or, or an affirmation or a prayer or a mantra or something soothing like music. Our mind is our world. And we must choose, we must always choose to release ourselves from thoughts of fear, sickness, Stress, instability, insecurity, turmoil, lack, limitation, and any form of dis-ease. We must simply choose to let go and let God, or learn to sometimes let it be. The Buddha was walking from town to town with a few of his followers. While they were traveling, they happened to pass a lake. They stopped and Buddha said to one of his disciples, I am thirsty. Please get me some water from the lake. The disciple walked over to the lake and just then he noticed some people there washing clothes. Right at that moment, a bullet cart started crossing the lake right on the edge. As a result, the water became very muddy, very turbid. The disciple thought to himself, how can I give the Buddha this water to drink? He walked back over to the Buddha. He said, the water is very muddy. It's not fit to drink. The Buddha said, 
Let's take a rest by this tree for a while then. After about half an hour, he called to the same disciple and said, Can you go over to the lake and get me something to drink now? The disciple obediently went over to the lake. This time he noticed that the water was clear, that the mud had settled and the water above it was fit to be had. He collected some in a pot and took it back to the Buddha. The Buddha looked at the water, then looked at him and said, See, you let it be, and the mud is settled down on its own. You got a clear water, and it didn't require any effort. The moral to this story, friends, is you, you, your mind is also like this. Just when you find yourself having some disturbance, some challenge, some difficulty, when you're feeling out of sorts, just let it be. Give it a little time. And it will and it will settle down on its own. And you won't have to put any effort into bringing forth a calmness. We can have our best, we can make our best choices, judge righteously, and, and make the best decisions of our lives when we're calm and at peace. Friends, when you are peaceful, you think clearly, you brainstorm new creative ideas. You, you fall, you bring through your plans, you, your, your plans work out. You know, Louise Hay, she said, no person, no place, or no thing has any power over us, for we are the only thinkers in our mind. When we create peace and harmony and, and balance in our lives, in our minds, we will find it in our lives. Let's take a look at the five laws of a peaceful mind. These, peace, these laws of peace will help you restore the balance in your life. Number one, make peace with your past. You know, you can't walk your way through life with one foot stuck in the past. So it's important that you make peace with whatever happened in your past and bring forth a new light. If something is bothering you, do whatever you need to do to find closure. If you are feeling guilt, regret, sorrow, or shame because of something that happened in your past, learn your lessons and move on. If you've done something wrong to someone, make amends. If you're feeling confused about something, hmm, talk to a trusted friend, a minister, or seek professional help. Your past is supposed to make you good, feel good about the memories you've made and teach you some important lessons. Resolve your past and you will have a peaceful mind. Are you with me? Number two. And number two's a good one. It's, a, it's an important one. Stop, stop worrying about what other people think. Stop worrying about what other people think. The Dalai Lama said, do not let the thoughts or behavior of others destroy your inner peace. We concern ourselves too often with looking good in the eyes of others. We spend a lot of time in other people's heads. And all that does is make us judge ourselves more harshly. The truth is, other people's opinion is none of our business. Their opinion has nothing to do with us and everything to do with them. Their past, their judgments, their expectations, their likes or dislikes. You know, Lao Tzu said, care about what other people think and you will be their prisoner for life. Are you still with me? Let's look at number three then. You and no one else is responsible for your happiness. You and no one else is responsible for your happiness. Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi said, and I want to get this perfectly right. He said, happiness is when what you think and what you say and what you do are in harmony. Only after we take full responsibility for our life and our happiness can we make any, any serious changes. People who blame other people or external, circ or external circumstances for their shortcomings, 
<clears throat> are not only wrong, but they're gi they're also giving their power away. The solution is to is to take responsibility and create the kind of life that you want to live. Create your life in the way that you want to be. Take control of your mind. Focus your mind and you will have a peaceful mind and a happy life. Still with me? Number four, never compare yourself to others because their journey is totally different. You know, Emerson said, nobody will bring you, will bring you, no, nobody will bring you peace but yourself. That's an important one. No one will bring you peace but yourself. When we compare ourselves to others, be it in terms of financial success, looks, education, uh, happiness, or whatever it is, we are doing ourselves an injustice. Everyone has their own journey. Instead, honor your own life and the efforts that you have put in to your life. Yes, sometimes we feel low. But when we feel low, it's because we forget how strong we are. It's important for us to, to concentrate or focus on our own journey and not focus on others in order to have a peaceful life. Allow yourself today to look and, look and honor yourself. Honor your own efforts. And number five is probably our most important step today. And this is one that we have to nail down. Stop overthinking. Friends, it's okay to not to know all the answers. It's okay not to know everything. In fact, some of the most successful people don't know everything. Everyone, no matter how popular or successful, is, is figuring things out along the way. Stop overthinking and allow yourself to cultivate a peaceful mind. In fact, let's take a moment. Center yourself. Come into a stillness. Turn off the world around you. And let's watch this video together. In the Bible it says, where two or more gather, there God is in the midst. So let's spend this moment in a spiritual setting with spirit in our midst. Let's watch the video.
Norman Vincent Peale, he said, the life of inner peace being, being, being harmonious and without stress is the easiest type of existence. Friends, a peaceful mind thinks better than a worked up mind. A peaceful mind manifests beauty, harmony, and prosperity. A peaceful mind is always rewarded by spirit. Lao Tzu said, if you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're at peace, you're living in the present. Achieving peace of mind is a continuous journey that many of us are on. But we must allow ourselves to live in the present and cause ourselves to sometimes let it be. Though true peace at times will feel out of reach, give peace a chance. Remind yourself, peace is greater than power. Allow true peace to become a workaround, a daily workaround in your life and work at it, as Eleanor Roosevelt said. If you do this, you will come into a new understanding, a new, a new creation, a new, a new concept. You will be lifted up and you will bring yourself closer to heaven on earth, tranquility, spiritual calm, and bliss. Are you willing to do this with me today? Well, thank you all and God bless you.